Hey everybody, welcome to three, four random horror games? Who knows? Uh, the first one is called Forgotten School. It is a short Japanese VHS horror game. Uh, link is gonna be in the description for all the games I play today, as well as some other stuff you should check out, like my Patreon, tee hee. Let's do it. Oh, where is everyone? Better hurry, or I'll be late for class. So wait, I was at a, at a track for a second. Why am I wet? Okay, so I have a ca okay, so I have a camera. There's no jumping. What's the camera do? Can I zoom in? Why am I wet? Am I crying? <laughs> I d I just don't understand why. Like, I don't understand this being wet, but, like, without the camera, why is it... Whatever. Uh... Uh... How do I... Oh, what? Outcast. Are these... Oh! Oh, I can see graffiti! Outcast. Suffering. Do it. Lonely. Oh. 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 Is this gonna be one of those games? Uh, oh, here we go. You know what I mean. We're like, we get to the end and it's like, oh, we were dead the whole time or something like that. You know what I mean? Oh god. Uh, I have to find library first. Okay. The end. I am nothing. Dumb. <laughs> Sloth. <laughs> Loser! Uh, okay. Oh, hey! What's up, little girl? Hopeless. They're watching you, idiot. <laughs> no one. I almost read that as noon. Lazy. Nobody. Void. Okay. Um. Okay, so I guess I need to go downstairs. I need shit down here. At least the the water got off my eyes. <laughs> Let's see. Anything fun written down here? Lifeless. Uh dumb. Okay, sloth again. Oh, hi. What? Oh, he's one of the graffiti people. What? Squish? Oh no, I'm running out of battery too. End it. Uh, fuck, I'm out of battery. Are you batteries? No, you're a book. Uh, The library seems different. Sure does. Okay. Uh, fuck, there has to be some... Oh, I guess I just have a full battery again. Okay. We know you. What? Failure. Okay. Oh, shit. Hi. Whoa! <laughs> that got me. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's the dude graffitiing, dickhead. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
no one. Hello? Who's... Who is door? Am I dead? Is everyone I see dead? Alright. They laugh. Uh, you did this. Death. Yep, thought so. Uh, okay, bye. Wait, do I... Okay. Hi. Cute. I thought that was really cute. Like, I have no idea what the story was, but... I like it. The... The dude swinging around in the library. Adorable. Alright. Uh, let's go on to the next one. Alright, and this one's called The Field. I actually got a request to play this this morning from the dev. Uh, their email... Uh, title was called I'm sorry, but yeah, it's a request to check out my game So of course I will let me minimize that so I can see OBS Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh It's getting mad. Okay, there we go. Cool. Let's enter the field Okay <laughs> Spent some time at Peddler's End. There is a farm in New England which recently purchased used to belong to the Atkins family the farm in 1802 was dubbed by many as Peddler's End, the name referring to an incident that occurred on the farm one fateful day in early fall of that year. Upon returning home from a trip into town, a trip, mind you, that takes the better part of a day, Jacob Atkins discovered his wife, Amelia, in the arms of a shoe peddler. But ever had those red bottoms? Uh, seeing the two together, he flew into a rage, killing both his wife and the peddler. Oh, I get it. That's why it's called Peddler's End. The farm, from that moment on, was known to the locals as where the peddlers meet his end. Hey. Grief-stricken over the tragedy, only a few weeks later, Jacob Atkins himself took his own life, hanging himself from one of the rafters in the barn. Upon the death of Jacob and Amelia, their 23-year-old daughter, uh, Sarah, was left alone to tend to the farm. Sometime during that winter, Sarah went missing and was not heard from again. The farm fell, into, uh, fell to despair or disrepair, uh, until sometime in the late 1960s, when it was purchased by Roger and Millie Hilkins. Uh, Hilkins Farm produced corn for cattle feed for many years until an accident with his farm tra with his farm tractor in 1992 left Roger with only his left leg. Ow! The two continued to own the farm right up until 2003, when Millie took ill of a respiratory infection and passed away. Roger sold the farm uh, to his neighbor Milton Hulkles. Hulk Hulks who, over the next several years, let the farm sit and decay. Hawks, uh, late one evening, after a long bout of drinking, attempted to burn the barn down, along with uh, the adjoining field. He poured gasoline uh, from the inside of the barn along the path of, through the corn, which, although uncultivated for a time, still grew. He then ignited the gas with a match, and he set the field ablaze. His attempt failed. A rainstorm sweeping in over the mountain ridge extinguished the fire, but uh, not before taking most of the farmhouse with it. And as for Milton Hollox, he and his drunken attempt to destroy the farm fell and burned a large portion of himself with it. His right hand was lost, and almost half his face needed to be grafted. When asked why he tried to burn his own property, he replied that he had always hated that farm. He said uh, that it was cursed and the soil was sour. He even claimed that from time to time he would see Jacob chasing his wife through the field, bringing her uh, again to her horrible end. Some early mornings, he'd open the barn door to find a rope which had uh, relieved Mr. Atkins of his guilt decades before, still gently swinging from the rafter. That was a lot of reading. Uh, oblivious to the history and hauntings of the farm, a small group of your good friends invite you to try a corn maze. However, you arrive late and your friends have already entered the maze. Candles lit. Zero out of 48. Hold on. Let me... Yeah, let me... Move my face cam really quick. Yeah, candles. Zero out of 48. Oh boy! Okay. Uh, hi, I'm gonna live up here for a second. How you doing, everybody? Hope you're having a good Halloween. Hope it's nice and safe. And spooky. Alright, boop. There we go. I'm gonna live over here for this video. Okay. Uh... Let's do it. Hell of a lot of reading. 
Oh, shit. Okay. And now this is this dev's first game that they put out on itch.io slash game jolt. So good for them. I would maybe bust up that that first paragraph a little bit. Uh, there we go. Well, that's it then. No going back now. At the next intersection, you'd uh, do best to stay straight. The only straight I am is a straight up bitch. Oh, and if you hear something moving amongst the corn, not to worry, probably just raccoons scurrying about. Okay. Uh, so I'm at one out of 48. Oh good, I have a flashlight. Uh, it is dark as shit. Hi. Okay. I think it's E that lights the candles. E? Yeah. And it seems like he does have some kind of stamina. I don't hear him, like, panting or anything like that. I just can't sprint sometimes. See, that should count as three candles. <laughs> um. There we go. Yeah, if the dev's watching this, I would just reword that opening intro a little bit. And maybe make it two screens. Like, have the original farmer's plights with his wife getting banged by the shoemaker It'd be the first page. And then second page would be the people who own the farm but then cut his leg off or whatever. I don't know. Just, just a thought. Boom. 7 out 48. Oh, boy. Uh... I'm gonna hope that as I go, spooky shit's gonna happen. Like every like, every eight, maybe? Yeah, there's one candle I already did. Here, let's read this note first. Uh, the field needs your sorrow to grow. Pain, fear, anguish, that's what, that's what it wants. If your blood that makes the it's your blood that makes the ground fertile. The corn grows sweet. Okay. I was trying to... I was thinking like maybe like every eight since it's out of 48. Something spooky would happen. But maybe not. Boop. Alright, I guess let's cut to the next note slash thing that happens. Uh-oh. Hi. There's blood. Actually went on a little bit of a streak of not finding any candles. But I guess I'm back on the right path. Yeah. Uh. Okay. I guess let's keep going. Okay, there's definitely someone in the maze trying to scare us. We saw one of them moving through the corn. Creepy tall dude. Uh, we went past a big hay pile in the middle of a large intersection. We are going... Uh, we're going to go back and wait for you there till you catch up, Jen. Okay. Stop it. Stop. Let's stop. There we go. Okay. Creepy tall dude, huh? I don't see no tall man. Okay, I see him. <laughs> I 
<laughs> That's actually kind of creepy. Uh, was this note here before? Something's not right. We can't find Rick. He was just with us, and now he's uh, just gone. I don't know where you are, but Mike and I are... Oh, somebody's calling me. Uh, mine uh, are getting really freaked out. I swear these rows of corn keep changing. Be safe, Jen. Yeah, so like... Yeah, here's the blood I found. And then... Oh yeah, turn the brightness way up for you guys, so you can see. Okay, so cool. I think the game's actually, like, going, going now. Hello? I know the barn's over there, so I'm wondering if, like, the corn's gonna change and make me go in. Or, like, head towards the barn, I guess. Well, <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> fuck that. Okay. I'm gonna say those marks better go away. I was expecting a tall dude, not a crawly boy. <laughs> I don't know where you are, but I'm running! I think he's behind me. Okay. Uh, let's head this way, since I don't have any candles lit over here. I do. Never mind. Uh, this way, I guess. I'm kind of just trying to head toward, uh, head towards the barn. What's this? Yeah, it needs my sorrow. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Edgy shit, bro. Edgy shit. Like, I'm getting really close to the barn, I think. Oh, shit. Fuck, you tall. Are there multiple of them? Oh, shit. Sure are. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's so tall. Okay, let's save my stamina because I think this is a dead end back here. Dude, you are a big, big boy. Ah, oh, fuck. Are these both dead ends over here? Whoa! I heard somebody swipe at me. I can't sprint. Oh, stamina. How I hate you. I want to, uh, crawly boys. Ah! Fuck are you? Get over here. Oh, that's so creepy. Like on my screen you can barely see him walk up. I might maybe I yeah. can... Woo! a little bit darker. Uh. Oh damn it. Okay. Ooh, hi. Okay. Just can you figure out where to go. Because, like, now some of the paths they're showing me are kind of hidden, I guess. They are broken, tortured things. Driven into existence from some dark unnatural will. I pity them. They don't... Eee, bye! over there. Okay, let's keep looking. Ah, it's got me. Ah, ah. 
Ah. Uh... <laughs> oh, come on. It like dragged him right through here. What the fuck are you? Are you? You're like a little baby. Hi. Uh. Ow. Well, I don't like you anymore. Uh. Handle this way. Okay. The big ones are kind of slow. Like they don't attack very fast. I wonder how long I've been playing this. <laughs> they were like you once. People with thoughts and feelings. Happiness, warmth, love. Now disordered with nothing driving them but the need to seek the living. No family, no friends, no desires, and no joys. Only the need to make more. More like them. Do they feel sorrow for the ones they take? The ones they tear from, the, from this life and make to suffer as they do? Yes. For suffering and pain are the only feelings these poor creatures have left to feel. And they feel them beyond the boundaries of death itself. Rude. Okay. 31. Getting there. I think. Looks like another dead end for you. I'm sorry about your friends. It just has to be this way. You understand, nothing personal. We are the caretakers of this field. Not long after we moved here, it took my little girl. That's when I knew uh, what I was meant to do. I have to care for the field, fertilize it, and let it grow. Apologies, but now you'll be part of something bigger. Cool. So, he said another dead end for me. So I guess I need to turn... Oh, there's actually a path right here. Never mind. the end of the maze, but I didn't find all the candles beforehand. <laughs> Alright, that was the field. Cute. Uh, way too long, way too many candles, but I liked it. Maybe it was like cut in half. Yeah, 48 is a lot of candles. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go on to the next one. Hey, and this one's called Trigger? Trigor? Trigor? Yeah. <laughs> uh, hold right click to pick up. Okay. Uh, hold left click to light a candle. You need light to search for items, okay? Hold right click to search drawers, okay. Hold right click to pick up. You need ammo. Oh, so I can only hold one thing at a time. Okay, so here, let's take that. Oh, and that's just the ammo. Okay, so here, let's let's light all the candles they see. Take rifle? Okay, so that's lit. It's lit, fam. Uh is there anything else I need light before I get going? Okay. Let's grab. Rifle? Which is insane. Okay. Here, maybe I, let's let's do the pistol and then this. Just like let let me move on. Press, okay. So like. Oh God. Survive your first day. So I should have waited for. Oh, 
Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Uh... Shit. Okay. And like, can I... Okay, I can close. That's good. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Oh god. This is gross. <laughs> and like, it's kind of chaotic. Here, uh, let's close the door. Let's close the window. Who's over here? Ooh! This is so hectic. Uh, tools? Nope. Uh oh. Uh, I can't. Uh oh. Okay, good. There we go. Who's. Who's in my house? Who's. Ew, ew. Gross. Okay. What do I need tools for? Machine gun? Goodness. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna guess that's boss time. Oops. Okay. Somebody's in the house. Machine gun's dope. I'm into it. No shitty revolver, not into you. Where are you? Show yourself! Fight me! So it does seem like some of my candles are going out as well. Maybe it's just getting darker. Oh, I can shoot them out the window, too. Get back! Oh my god! Uh, shit. That dude's tough. Where's the ammo box? Ow. 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 Okay, you're dead. Oh my god, you're fat. Big boy. Okay, you're dead. I really should use more uh, matches. I should have done it before the end of the night. I didn't know there's gonna be a night sequence. Okay, how we doing? Dawn of day two. Oh shit! I'm about to die. Oh shit! Damn it. All right. Well, that was Trigger. <laughs> that was cute. All right. Let's do uh, one more. Hey, and this one's called Schrodinger's Cat Simulator. Hello? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so we're going to... Oh, no. Oh no! So we're gonna play uh, Pachinko, and hopefully we're gonna feed the cat. Can I pet the cat? If you know what Schrod Schrodinger's cat is, it's basically like the theory that there is a box and then there's a cat inside. The cat is both living and dead until you open the box and find out what it actually is. But until the moment you open that box, it is both the same, living and dead. Does that make sense? All right, let's do it. Okay, 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 good start, good start, good start. Yes! Yes! You're so welcome. I would have felt terrible. I would have shot that cat. No! Look at him! No! No! Oh my god! Dead Kittens Worldwide 90. Let's 
go with more. What? No, why is there a dead whale? Butcher knife, fuck that. David, I guess I'm supposed to write this note? You ruined our life. And I think you did it to your own daughter. I wish you used that fucking thing on yourself. You can't fix what you did. I can't take it anymore. Uh, it's hard to let go. I've taken Lucy to her favorite place uh, and let her go, Jane. Little one suitcase? So what are you? Okay. Yeah, let's... I don't want to do this. Dude, dude. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Grab heart. Here we go. This is very weird. Oh, and it it closed out and opened up a new it opened up a Steam page called Zam. Z A A M. So the, oh, so this is like a this was like a demo for Zam, I guess. Okay. Here, let me load it up again. I want to play the pachinko again. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! 